Dog is taking his marijuana legacy to the next level, opening his first licensed dispensary and launching a line of cannabis products that pay tribute to rapper Tupac. Tupac's name is effectively synonymous with marijuana as the artist has made cannabis culture a hallmark of his personal and professional brand for decades. Now he's making his debut in California's legal industry with the launch of the Los Angeles-based retailer Weed, which stands for Smoke Weed Every Day, S-W-E, how clever. The dispensary features various nods to Snoop's career under the record label Death Row Records, which he took over in 2022. For example, there's a smoke-proof DJ booth where uh, Snoop can smoke and spin music memorabilia associated with the label and graffitied quotes from the artist. One of the other unique features of the Los Angeles dispensary is that it's catered selections of marijuana offerings, which will include new line of limited edition products from Snoop's Death Row Records cannabis brand. That product line honors rapper Tupac Shakur, or Tupac, not sure why they said it like that, an iconic artist who Snoop befriended before he was killed in, sh in a shooting in 1997. It was Tupac who gifted Snoop his first blunt. Snoop said, that first blunt sparked a friendship that ran deep. We'll always have his music, but this is another way I can bring what was meaningful to Tupac to his fans. This isn't the artist's first foray into the cannabis industry, of course. He also launched a different marijuana brand called Leafs by Snoop in Colorado in 2015. Snoop's marijuana legacy um, also runs deep as late night TV host Jimmy Kimmel recognized last year when he declared the artist's birthday, October 20th, the new, quote, the new high holiday of Dog Father's Day. While he might be best known as a prolific consumer, Snoop has also advocated for reform, which includes calling for a policy change at the NBA so that players could freely use cannabis off the court. He said last year he supported the reform based on the medical side of it, the health benefits, and how it could actually help ease the opioids and all the pills that they've been given, and the injections, he said. Snoop has long been pushing athletic organizations to adopt lenient marijuana policies, often emphasizing that points and that cannabis could serve as a less addictive and dangerous alternative to prescription opioids. The artist, uh, who once estimated that he smokes 81 blunts per day, I hope Saman isn't rolling them for him, also made headlines <laughs> in 2019 uh, as he disclosed that he paid a person upwards of $50,000 a year to roll his blunts for him. Come on, you would never get the gig, even though it's uh, not a bad gig. I'm Todd Deggett with High Nine News and uh, Snoop Dogg entering the dispensary space. Uh, Justin, uh, Jason, what do you think? I mean, about this... uh, smoke weed every day. I mean, I just I'm great, great, great for them. They entering the most tax part of the industry, and so you know what I mean. But he, he's got the money to pay for it, so cool. Kudos to him, yep. and yep. congratulations. Good. Welcome to being a retailer. I mean, this is, right. he racked up enough uh, enough money on the road launching the leaves and all that because they were paying. They didn't make any money like off that. that. They didn't make money. I mean, that. they didn't make any money. He made money. That's what I'm saying. They had to pay him for his like, Yeah, they had to pay him for his likeness. There was a lot of upfront yeah, money. Now I remember. I remember that deal in Colorado. That's, that's not. That's uh, not really kind of how that worked. But okay. Are you sure, Jason? I'm 100 sure. I know. I know, I know yeah. who. I know who got the money in that deal, and it wasn't Snoop. All right. Well, let, let's see. There's, there's probably. It was someone on Snoop's team, but it wasn't Snoop. Okay. Maybe, maybe you have a point there, Jason. Maybe it was. Jason I know Beck. I have maybe a point there. Got to apply. <laughs> got to apply. Mm -hmm. But carry on. Anyway, carry on. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to see the reality show. <laughs> I want to see Snoop Dogg. I want to see Snoop Dogg doing some day to day shit in a dispensary. Other, <laughs> can you see? Can you see Snoop Dogg actually uh, uh, batching out at the end of the day? Can you see him doing any reconciliation, uh, taking any uh, orders from anybody here? No, he's QC. No, no you know what I do see? I do see Snoop feeling like he could just smoke anywhere, and then 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 the DCC issuing them a fine for him smoking on property. I could see that happening. 
Yeah. In, the, in the DJ booth. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I can see happening. I was just thinking we just really needed a new celebrity brand. That was just what I was thinking yesterday, so I'm glad we got a, another one coming. But I will say I saw a lot of posts on social media. It looked like, looked like it was a good time. There was a lot of people there that showed up, showed support and whatnot. Yeah, it looked, looked like a great time on social media. So. That was good. Yeah, I would say a positive spin. Positive spin, like uh, – um, I'm not really, really uh, b um, b behind the longevity of celebrity brands either, Jenny Beth. Uh, but what I would say that if there's anybody, any celebrities that would do well, um, exhibit Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg uh, as they are part of the culture and they've been on the ground doing the damn thing. So um, just by name alone. Oh yeah, and be real. Well, can you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't really say that right. because because uh, they, they they've been they've been in cannabis doing other things and the the, the the stuff that they've done haven't been like crazy successful where it's like blockbuster. Remember the Stoop Dog G Pen collab? Here, well, here, well, here, let me finish. Let me, let me finish. Okay. Let me, let me All right. Here, sorry. Here, All right. Here, okay. Here. Just. Uh, I was gonna say as, as long as he is on the ground doing the damn thing. That's, that's one thing like, before Exhibit even uh, opened up XWCC, like. He, this motherfucker be at PADs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, be real, actually be on the ground doing shit. So uh, if, if Snoop does that work, you know, mm -hmm. that's what it takes. I, ho I hope he does. I hope that's he does. That's honestly what it takes. You're going to have yeah, to buy an eighth of it to take a picture with Snoop Dogg. Otherwise, you're going to have 85,000 people in line to not buy nope. shit in your I, store. Nope. They're just going to go to go to uh, Madame Chusseau's and, like, make a couple uh, Snoop Dogg figurines so that every time yeah. you go to a Snoop Dogg store, you can take a picture with Snoop. Shit, That's you it. ever go to you ever go uh, whenever there's a Lakers game, you ever go uh, um, down over there on Chick Hearn and see all of these Snoop Dogg clones they have everywhere? Mm -hmm. all, all these fools down here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have those guys looking like where's looking like a black where's Waldo all about uh, yeah. every <laughs> I think it's uh, I, I think that actually Everything makes the most you're gonna know who the real mm -hmm. Snoop is. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. That probably is gonna make the most money for Snoop because I mean he's like he has all the clout in that in LA and he's like a, right. a legend. He's like a cannabis right. legend too. It's it's probably better than any yep. other celebrity weed brand out there. Oh no, we got we got we gotta to go to a commercial. We're gonna be right back. Let's be real. I see uh, what you did there. Mm -hmm.